Go! Ooh! That's his first pull up ever. There we go, good! He's a power animal! One! Whoa! Good! Good! Nothing feels better than a fresh pump. We're in the remote jungles of Thailand. Bunch of wild kids want to channel their energy. So we built a pull-up bar. And this is how it got done. So, we've sourced our materials for the pull-up bar in Thailand, and it's going to consist of two 10-foot circular poles for support on the side, and then the actual pull-up bar is going to be a 6-foot long by 1 inch wide, and uh, we're going to cut these to length right now. Always wear your safety gear. When you have the right tools, it cuts like butter. Folks, we're going to drill a hole in this big pipe, one inch, to fit this. Okay. So Larry's lubing up the pipe with some cutting oil. <laughs> so we are in the jungle of Thailand and we do not have a one inch drill bit, so we're improvising. We measured a piece of the pipe. We're drawing our uh, etch right around there, and we're going to actually go with a jigsaw. So right now we're laying out the pull-up bar in the exact position we want it to be welded in. Um, we're just going to get this welder fired up, and the rule is here is y'all is measure twice, cut once, or measure twice, weld once. Because once we weld it, it's going to be in place and we're not going to have time to adjust it after. So we didn't have the right equipment when we were doing the original welding, so we decided to take it to a professional, let him fab it up. These dudes in Thailand, they fab everything up. They're just amazing uh, craftsmen. We just got the bar back from the welder. We're grinding out the edges right there. We're just taking down the rough part so uh, nobody slices their hand. And we're gonna put it over here. We're gonna move it over into this hole. We've dug these holes. Right here, these are two and a half, almost three feet deep. We're gonna place them there with the concrete. We just put the pull-up bar in the hole and we're getting ready to pour the cement. This brings us to the most important part of making sure the bar is level. As the concrete settles, you periodically have to check to make sure it's on point. As you notice, we're pouring cement in the bars because the materials were hard to source and the metal was a little thinner than we would have liked but it came out super strong and happy with the results. Hey. Yup. Got really wild. Um, sand, cement spilling everywhere, water's getting everywhere, it's great. I just let the kids take over. They've seen enough building. Just, uh, I just make sure everything's level. And uh, it all works out, man. It's great. I can't wait to see these guys on there tearing it up. Future bar stars, the world. Kids went wild. We're just gonna let it soak in there. Keep checking. Making sure the angle's good. She's a beauty. We're at the final step. Remember, your finished job is only as good as your prep. So we sanded and wiped the grease prior to painting. So for this build, it was crucial that the pull-up bar blend in with the surrounding environment. 
So we decided to paint it jungle green. You could tell it camouflages pretty well with the trees and the grass. So we got the brand new pull-up bar that just got finished and the kids are going bananas. Heck, they could barely even wait till the paint was dry to start climbing on this thing. This is the first day. Deck, go! Go! Mmm! Gee! Dance, 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 dance!